welcome back everyone today we have another very interesting looking abstract art inside of Maya and today we are going to be using a little bit of bevel and some deformers to create an abstract and I think the idea of using the bevel is pretty cool because it gives a kind of interesting result to your abstract so let's see how we can use it and you can apply the same technique on to your other project as well and it kind of is a pretty easy to do and kind of small thing when it comes to creating an abstract but it does give an interesting result so let's see i'm going to start off by taking a simple plane but you can always change the primitive you want and by simple plane i'm going to change also number of subdivision i have on this maybe that's too much uh, maybe like 15 and 15 okay perfect now as you can see we have quads going on so instead of quads let's select triangles now to make these quads into triangles i'm going to go to my mesh and select triangle now instantly I have all the triangles going on so let's select all the faces of the plane and what we are going to do is we are going to extrude this now to extrude you can simply click on this icon you can also go to edit mesh and extrude or you can also hit ctrl e so i'm going to select all of this hit ctrl e and extrude now when i extrude the object as you can see uh, what i'm doing is simply extruding uh, a kind of like a single element out of the shape now what i want is extruding all of these shapes into a different kind of elements now right now Maya is treating all of these shapes as a single element instead what I can do is simply change the key faces together instead of on I can off this and now if I scale this down as you can see I have all separate shapes going on so I'm going to uh, undo this and let's change the key faces together to off let's extrude this just a little bit higher somewhere like this and let's change the scale just a little bit so i think uh, this is looking good and when i'm satisfied with the result i can simply go to the object mode okay so we have something like this which looks like a kind of like a chocolate bar but that's okay so the next step is beveling these edges now i can go to the edge mode select all of these edges and simply hit bevel now you can click on this icon you can also go to edit mesh bevel or you can hit ctrl b totally depends on you so let's bevel this and now we have some option i'm going to change the fraction to somewhere like 0.8 and maybe one something like this i think it's looking good and i can go to the vertex mode and again select all these vertex and again bevel them out now as you can see we have pretty cool beveling going on all our shapes and i can increase the number of bevelness on this and i think that's too much so let's decrease the value i think this is looking good so now i have something like this let's hard this okay now we have pretty interesting bevel going on you can also change a different type of certain extrusion you want to create a certain look but i'm pretty happy with the result now what i can do with this is if you want to add a little bit of extra what you can do is select the polygon and go to deform and non-linear and select sign now select the sign and uh, change the amplitude to 0.1 or maybe like 0 0.05 uh, maybe two now one is good you have to decrease the value to a minimalistic kind of look okay and increase the wavelength to somewhere like three maybe one yeah now it's not affecting our polygon so let's rotate this to 90 degrees on the z axis and maybe on the x as well let's scale this up and i think it's perfect now if the effect is too harsh what you can do is maybe decrease the amount of amplitude and increase the amount of wavelength on this so now we have something like this maybe decrease it even more to somewhere like three yeah so now we have pretty cool abstract looking art now if you want to take this even further what you can do is go to deform a non-linear and select a wave now in the wave what you can do is increase the number of amplitude to 0 0.05 and wavelength to 2 maybe 3 and uh, let's increase amplitude that's too much and let's see okay so my wavelength was pretty high so let's decrease this and yeah 
0.5 and I think this value is perfect and uh, here I can create even more wavelength if I want okay I think this is looking good and make sure you turn on the dropper so you have a smooth uh, Bezier follow going on now when you're happy with the result or if you want to increase the wavelength to make the look pretty harsh you can increase the power even more and let's select a camera and let's keep a look like that okay let's lock the camera and let's select our IPR okay so as you can see we have our basic shape now let's shade this uh, now let's shade this very quickly we can use a smooth preset and uh, let's use somewhere like copy and increase the weight to one and we have pretty interesting look now let's change some colors maybe let's take this and uh, I'm going to go to my code and uh, maybe change a different color and also increase uh, the metalness on this so I'm going to make this 0.9 and decrease the color just a little bit yeah and also just add a little bit thin film to get pretty cool interesting look out of this and now we have something like this you can change the color if you want if you want a pretty different result out of this but I think it's looking pretty cool so yeah you can also change the color of specular let's change it to something like bluish kind of thing like that like right yeah so I think it's looking pretty cool you can uh, change the color to get a minimalistic kind of look or you want a harsh look you can go for a brighter color and yeah i hope you like the video enjoy creating some abstract scene of this uh using bevel it creates a pretty interesting scene it's pretty small and easy thing to do but it does give an interesting look so try experimenting it with different kinds of primitives to get a pretty cool abstract looking art so yeah i hope you like the video again thank you for watching enjoy